Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little look into my fall body care products. So I do have everything laid out behind me on my bed and we're just going to run through all of the products that I have for fall. Most of them are actually from previous years. I don't have a lot from this year, um, but I am excited to show you guys what I have just because, you know, it's October. We're getting into the autumnal mood. It is finally time for like pumpkin things. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and go over to the bed and see what we've got. Also, sorry if you can hear it, but my throat is still like a little hoarse from the music festival I went to this past weekend and it's been like five days. So I'll get my voice back eventually. But anyways, let's go to the body care. Okay, so here's a little rundown of what I've got in front of me. I have two sets over here and then everything else is just kind of spread out pretty much like willy nilly. So I've got a few scrubs. I've actually got three um, scrubs and they're all from this year. So the first one is the Creme Shop X Hello Kitty Caramel Pumpkin Latte. I've only used this once, but it smells so delicious. And honestly, the feeling is like, a whipped body butter texture it's a really cool texture it was $5.99 and it smells amazing it definitely smells like a caramel latte I wouldn't sell that, say that it smells like a lot of pumpkin but it smells really really good and then I did pick up the new tree hut scents for this fall velvet coffee and pumpkin spice latte I've been using this one in my shower it's the perfect pumpkin scent I've only used this velvet coffee one like once but it's gonna be really nice for morning showers in like the winter time I think just to wake me up and then I've also got oh forgot I had this one the Bath and Body Works marshmallow pumpkin latte foaming sugar scrub I've not used this one yet I did pick it up at uh, SAS this summer planning on getting it out in November because I actually forgot there is one um, body scrub in my shower let me go grab it real quick Okay, so I forgot to include Sweet Whiskey on here because it was in my shower and I'm pretty much almost finished with it. It is right down to here. You guys can see it's pretty much almost done. But yeah, this is Sweet Whiskey from last year and the notes are golden amber, vanilla infused liqueur, and sweet red berries. It smells absolutely delicious. I love any berry scent, but this is like a very sophisticated scent. So I've been loving it. It's almost done. So I'm going to pull out Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte once that one is finished. And then I do have just a few little minis. I have strawberry pound cake. This is also from last fall and I'm pretty much almost done with this too. I have open sky in the mini body cream. Um, I was gonna try and declutter this, but nobody wanted it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try and finish it up. Um, not my favorite scent, I have to say. It's a little too floral for me. I have Midnight Amber Glow from this year, brand new. I've used it a few times. I do really like this scent and I do wanna get it in like full-size items probably not until like SAS or body care day like in December but I do plan on getting a few more in this one and then I do also have the happy Halloween Empire blood diamond shimmer mist from last year this is so pretty honestly like a collector's item I haven't used it too much it just smells like strawberries but it's so pretty I can never get rid of it and then I've got these four sprays by themselves. So I've got Twilight Woods in the Diamond Shimmer Mist. This is a few years old. It is from 2020. So you see that zero there on the bottom, 2020. And this one doesn't actually have notes on it, but Twilight Woods is more of a masculine scent and it's like kind of clean and powdery fresh. I haven't really used this one too much, uh, but I do enjoy the scent and it's fun every now and then to have this like shimmery mist. And then I've got Vanilla Mocha Cream, or sorry, Vanilla Mocha Cafe. And this one came out originally in fall of 2020, and then it also came out in winter of last year. I love this scent. It is absolutely amazing. It is like a chocolate, um, a chocolate coffee scent. It's really, like it says, it's a mocha coffee smells delicious it is so yummy and super cozy and really just an amazing scent for fall and winter really anytime that it's cold it's so so yummy and i'm pretty much about like halfway through it i think yeah about halfway through it so and then we have white pumpkin and chai of course another great one this one also originally first came out in 2020 and it is back it came back last year and it came back again this year 
Um, does not have the notes on the back, but I'm pretty sure it's like a spice cider scent. It smells amazing. Oh, it smells so, so good. Definitely does not smell like the white pumpkin candle. I would say it smells more like a pumpkin cider and a little bit of those chai spices. So this is an amazing scent. I actually pulled it out this morning because I was feeling like the super fall vibes this morning. So I pulled it out to start using um, now that it's like midway through October. But yeah, love pumpkin, white pumpkin and chai. And then I have Bonfire Bash. This one is from also from 2020. Um, it does have the notes on the back. Vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. Honestly, a really great marshmallow scent. It smells so good. It is just a beautiful, beautiful marshmallow scent. I'm trying to get this used up. We're about... I would say like I have a third left of it. So doing really good on this one. And I absolutely adore this scent. And then for body lotions, I have these two. And then of course I do have these in sets, but these two are by themselves. So I have white pumpkin and chai in the lotion. And I can show you guys the notes actually on this one. It's super hard to read. Oh my gosh. Cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin and vanilla glaze. Yep. Yeah, definitely has that cider pumpkin. And I wouldn't say a lot of vanilla, but totally a lot of cinnamon. So Absolutely love this scent. This is actually 2021's packaging. So you can see the two together, a little bit different, but I really do love this scent. I'll probably start pulling it out. It's not cold yet in Texas where, I, where I'm at, um, but I'll probably start pulling this out like at the end of October, early November, and like use it up until I'm ready for Christmas scents. And then I do have pumpkin cupcake from last year as well. The scent notes are whipped buttercream, pumpkin spice, and vanilla cake batter. This one is like a little too spicy for me, so... I haven't been using it yet. Um, I actually tried to declutter it, but again, nobody wanted it. So I tried to declutter to like my friends and family. And then I tried to also declutter on Mercari, but nobody was biting on this one. So I think I just deactivated it. But yeah, I'll probably get through it one day, but it's like so super spicy that it's almost a little bit sickening. So I haven't been able to use it just yet. But I definitely think I will get to it probably next year. And then we do have Almond Blossom in the set. I think for me, this is definitely a fall scent. Um, I've used it all year round, but I think it is really great in the fall. And that's when I'm using it right now. I'm pretty much a third of the way through all of these. Well, except for the spray. I would say I'm barely halfway through on the spray. But the scent notes on this are, there's really not scent notes. It's actually more of like a sentence. Sweet almond oil blended with vanilla orchid and cashmere musk. So it's definitely like an almond scent with definitely cashmere and a little bit of that like slight floral scent to it. It is not florally like at all, um, but it gives you that taste without being overpowering because I do not like floral scents, but I love almond blossom. So yeah, I'm using it in the lotion, the shower gel, and the fine fragrance mist right now. But this is available year round on the website and at your um, local outlets, of course. And then I have Cinnamon Donut Swirl, which is really from this summer's SAS. So it's not technically a fall scent, but I mean, honestly, if you're going to have a donut, a cinnamon donut um, scent, it's going to be a fall scent. <laughs> so the notes are sweet cinnamon, brown sugar, and fluffy donut. It's really yummy. I've started to like this more and more the more I use it, and I'm about a third of the way or two thirds of the way through, I only have one third left of the shower gel and the lotion. I am like almost done with. Give it another week and I'll be done. So I'm really enjoying this. It has like a really nice, sweet, sugary scent. Nothing like too amazing, but it is really, really nice and nice to pair with other things as well. Okay, we've got these two sections and we're almost done. So I've got Sugar Cherry Crisp, which came out originally in the 2020 fall. And I did actually get this in 2021, I think at the winter SAS. Such an amazing scent. I wish they would bring it back like in every form, but for SAS, they only brought it back out, I think in the shower gel and in the spray. So the scent notes are Bright Cherry Delight, Crumbled Graham Cracker, and Spun Vanilla Sugar. Such a yummy scent. It's so good. I'm going to be really sad when I finish this off. I'm like so close to being done with this one. It's so amazing. It really is like a cherry pie scent. It smells so delicious and it's amazing. It's so good. 
I have sweater weather right here. This one's actually for my boyfriend, Ryan. I just picked this up for him. This is this year's packaging. The notes are sun crisp apple, autumn leaves, and orchard woods. Very nice, fresh scent. I love sweater weather. It definitely smells like the candle. It smells super fresh, super invigorating, very much like fall, like you're walking through like the woods or whatever. It smells so good. So this is a really great one for for guys, especially my brother also loves this one. So definitely a good one to like gift. And I think they do bring this out in the wintertime as well as the fall, but it's such an amazing scent for year round, but really, really awesome for fall. And then the last shower gel I have is pumpkin pecan waffles. This is from last year and I did not get a chance to finish it last year, but as you can see, I have used it a little bit. The notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Such a good scent. It also can be kind of cloying like pumpkin cupcake. Um, it smells like maple syrup. I don't really get a lot of the uh, waffles. It smells like maple syrup to me. It is so, 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 so strong. So I have to really be in the mood to use this. So that's why I haven't gotten a lot of use out of it, but it is so, so yummy. So that is this one. And then the last two that I have are the body creams so we have pink velvet cupcake and this one i got at sas but it is from 2021 the notes on this are sparkling red berries whipped pink marshmallow and sugared praline i think this one originally first came out in 2020 and then it came back again in 2021 i don't think it's actually out this year which i'm really sad i love this scent i used to have it in the spray and i finished it up it is just a beautiful pink berry scent smells just like uh, cotton candy clouds really it's not super unique but it's such an amazing scent i really do love it it is so like girly berry scent it's so yummy and that slight marshmallow gives it like the perfect bit of gourmand it's so so good and then the last thing that i have to show you guys is enchanted candy potion the body cream from this year the scents are the scent notes are spellbinding sugar bewitched berries and whipped pixie dust this one is really it smells like candy. It honestly smells really similar to Pink Velvet Cupcake with the berry and the sponge sugar, um, but it's definitely more like sweet tarts, I would say, than Pink Velvet Cupcake. Pink Velvet Cupcake is a little more gourmand with that marshmallow in there. This one is definitely more of just like a, a generic sugar candy, so it is totally candy potion. Like They got the name perfect for this one. I actually think I'm going to use it more around the springtime because it is such like a candy scent that I feel like it's going to be really nice around spring around Easter like I feel like this would be perfect for that time okay so that is everything for my fall body care so as you can see I've got five different shower gels I'm almost done with that one got some four minis these four and five body sprays I've got two three four body lotions one, two, three, four, five shower gels and two body creams. So that's everything for the fall body care. So that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I think it's just really fun to see like seasonally how our collections change and things like that. And it's also fun to like show you guys because I don't really have a lot of stuff from this year. I think actually the only thing from this year or the only two things from Bath and Body Works for this year are Midnight Amber Glow and enchanted candy potion and sweater weather and the tree head scrubs okay so not a lot but yeah that's <laughs> that's it for all the body care um let me know down below what are you using right now like what are you in the mood for i think i'm really transitioning to the white pumpkin and chai um i think it's pumpkin time like you can tell i'm wearing orange eyeshadow i'm in fall colors i'm ready for fall uh, Texas has not gotten the memo, but we're supposed to get a cold front next week. So I hope that's true. And I hope it ends up actually being like in the 60s or lower. That would be so great. That's everything for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like comment and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.